the portrait involves the identity of one person, the real inner structure of one person. And in order to show the inner real structure of one person, you have to develop accessibility to read the subject that you have in front. Hi, I'm Francesco Zizzola, I'm a photographer, I'm part of NUR Agency and today I'm here to explain how I use a medium format camera with film to do portrait. Through photojournalism, I had the occasion to develop this uh, specialization, make the human beings be really the protagonist of the picture, of the image. Today, a good uh, portrait is uh, a portrait that not only shows the, the face, the character of our subject, or one subject, but is also a photo that can uh, put this character in relation with the environment. My studio is uh, based in Rome, southern part of Rome, called Garbatella. Garbatella is a neighborhood that was founded almost 100 years ago. The last 100 years, photography was used by people. It was a technique that became popular. And the base of the project is that uh, through photography, we can reconstruct the history of uh, this area. In Garbatella, uh, there are inhabitants that are old, of course, but also young. So uh, through the images, through the portraits, through the family album images, we will start to see the face of this neighborhood and the character also of uh, the inhabitants. And that's why I decided to use uh, all the technology that is film, that uh, is still available in the industry, uh, with a medium format camera. And uh, with the light, we create this effect that uh, it's strange, but can work and just to suggest that we are showing something that is artificial, is uh, uh, not possible in reality. So it's something that uh, uh, need a creation. It was activated in the back. In the 21st century, I think that film camera is of course uh, an option, but it's a beautiful option, especially to create this poetic effect, to create this artistic effect. If you take some uh, process in mind, it's possible then transfer the idea to the film, to the film, uh, to the paper, and from the paper uh, to the viewers, and create creating this uh, process under the layout of your idea. It's possible control any elements and have a good result. So for me, a good uh, portrait can uh, create a connection between the subject that is represented in the, in the photo, in the image, and the, the reader of the image. When we are readers, we activate our memory if the image is able to enter in our eyes. 1968, 1968, in the theater Palladium nearby. My idea of setting artificial lights and have uh, the subject uh, uh, in certain position, so I need to uh, work with some assistant that helped me uh, to carry equipment, to position the, the lights, to uh, create uh, a special light for the face of the subject, modeling the light for the uh, face of the subject. That, I, that is an operation that has to be done manually. The tails, then there is the background, and the down behind. The main uh, equipment is uh, this camera, that is uh, the Mamiya 7 II. And uh, of course, this camera 
is equipped by with the, with the, a lens that is 50 millimeters because uh, I need to portray people, inhabitants uh, with and in between the buildings, the gardens in the in the neighborhood. So, and the background is also important. It's not the classical. Uh, the classical lens for portrait, but uh, the, the the subject will be uh, surrounded by other elements that we will we'll light with the uh, flesh heads, very quite powerful ones. Of course, batteries and receiver, and to let the camera connect by the, the flesh and the uh, batteries and the receiver, we have a transmitter that we will put here in the flash uh, area. Then film, of course, black and white film from the ISO. And then uh, I have uh, the camera that I use to do the test. Uh, we said before we use Polaroid today uh, is a digital camera. It's the best way to make a proper test. So I will swap uh, the transmitter. Uh, between the two cameras before for the test, I will use the digital and then again, I will put the transmitter on the analog camera in order to have the right light. In, in order to have uh, so a creative result, I imagine to let the buildings, the gardens, the plants, the elements that are in the neighborhoods uh, be very dark. Even in, during the fully sunny day, uh, I have to underexpose the film when I choose the relation between uh, the aperture and the shutter. I will force the measurement of the light in order to have a very low key uh, background. The neighborhood that I would like to show will be there, but in the low key, as a viewer of the image, you will make an effort to read what is behind the subject.